Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Mm -hmm. We're gonna sit down today and talk with you a little bit about what happened when the kids went to their first day at the private school. Yeah. Yeah, give you kind of life update and school update. Mm -hmm. Just to fill you in and let you know where we're at. <laughs> Y'all. Raising kids. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so yes, we did not know all of the particulars that went on in school. It's been a while because I went to a private school, but I was not expecting you this. Went to... A private or pu public school, I apologize. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I was not expecting private school to be this way. Right. You thought it'd be a little bit more controlled environment. More, yes. And a mind you, better behaved kids. Ma mind you, this is a Christian, Christian <laughs> private school. So, oh we. So, where do we start? Let's start off by okay. So, I picked the children up. If you have not watched that video, go watch it. Where right. you know we filmed their first day. Yeah. But so they get in the car and like right away they're like. Look, 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 look. <laughs> 100 miles an hour. Oh, like telling me everything in my eyes. As you know, parents, <laughs> when like your child tells you something and you're trying not to overreact because you don't want them, you don't want to scare them. So they can't see my reaction, but I'm driving and they're telling me, I'm like, like this the whole time. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm at work and I know about what time they're getting off. Yeah. And I'm like texting Vinamay. So, how'd it go? How'd it go? How was it? Like 10,000 texts. Like, are they okay? <laughs> Okay, I want to hear about it. Tell me what's going on. So I'm like, okay. So I had them just like not going to details. Like I said in the video, mm -hmm. don't go into details. You know, we got to talk about this. <laughs> so then um, we drove home. They're telling me all this stuff. Mm -hmm. We we get home and I said, y'all go inside. I got to talk to your daddy. <laughs> so then I called Jory and I think I sat in the car for like 20, 30 minutes just going off. I was like... Who? What? They did what? With you who? Were where? <laughs> With who? Asking all those questions. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I, I was, I was, I was disappointed. We were very disappointed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But yeah, do you want to share some of those things? Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> so I guess what kind of stood out to me was, um, it seemed like the kids were able to just kind of do whatever mm -hmm. and there wasn't a lot of pushback on bad behavior from the staff now this could be due to the fact that it was toward uh like approaching the end of the year right so it could be due to that but yeah. we don't know that yeah and maybe yeah. the kids found a way to like kind of get away from where the staff are mm -hmm. located like on their breaks or mm -hmm. whatever but some of the stuff the conversations and I know I'm pretty naive I was homeschooled but some of the conversations and the things especially the kids that Bella was around oh yeah the girls like the that age it was so just it was really inappropriate yeah and, and I just expected more at like a I'm using quotes Christian school yeah um, I know a thing can't be a Christian but you would think they'd, they'd have values that would be different from the yeah. world and I, I didn't really hear that in like literally they they went one day and, and the did. amount of things that happened in one day was like what like, That's these, it. You're these not are going. the conversations these are the like these are the things that they're talking about and mm -hmm. like we're not I how can I say this I don't I don't want to feel like I've sheltered my kids but I have mm -hmm. and sometimes, there's nothing wrong with that sometimes I feel like for good reason yeah like our kids are 11 and 12 and there's a lot of stuff they don't know you don't that know that they don't need to know. No. But we don't. There are people out there that don't raise their kids like us, and they know everything. And that's okay. We're not. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Like, I, I don't want to. I don't want that to come across judgmental. No, you're not. But we're just. I guess our mindset is we're trying to maintain innocence as long as possible. As possible. Because you guys know, like when yeah. you when you become an adult, you look at yourself and go, "Why was it not rush?" in a rush to know all these things right. and you know so like for us it's like just be a kid, be a kid. enjoy your enjoy life your like because yeah. when you become an adult life tends to get stressful it's more complicated and then it's yeah. extremely complicated mm -hmm. so why get yourself in a situation where you start off complicated right. like so if we can save them the heartache of that i don't think there's anything wrong with that and we're not here saying 
how we're doing it is best, but this is our conviction right. as, as their parents. Right. And the older two are to the point where they understand that there are things we're keeping from them. Oh, they know, yeah. And, and we've explained to them very clearly, and I think it's healthy that we say, look, there are, here's the example. You wouldn't give whatever to a to well, a small. Oh yeah, we child. talked about a phone. We get the example we give them were was a phone. Well, there's a few examples that yeah. I use when I talk about someone having something before it's time for them to have it. Yeah. Before they're able to handle. The Bible talks about that. Yeah. In the in inheritance that is given too early becomes a curse at the end. Well, that that perfectly defines it yeah. because I think about like, um, you wouldn't give a three-year-old a handgun. No. You know what I mean? They're they're not, and maybe that's a poor example. <laughs> or how about keys to a car? You yeah. wouldn't give a three-year-old keys yeah. to a car. Mm -hmm. Who knows what could happen? Mm -hmm. So there are things that, that can be a blessing in their time, right. but definitely a curse if it's before their time. Right. And so you guys can probably guess what kind of things we're talking about that the kids in school are, are bringing before our children. And we've tried so hard to maintain their innocence. And so, not that they're bad kids, just that, you know, they've been exposed have, to Yeah, them. yeah, yeah. So, and we also have to understand that as parents, we teach our kids one thing. And then when they go in front of other children, whatever is going on in that household is going to be brought up. Right. Um, the child might not even understand exactly what they're saying mm -hmm. or the complexity of the matter, but they're just speaking what they've heard. Right. Um, so therefore, other kids pick it up. Uh, we understand that aspect of things too. Mm -hmm. um, again, we were just disappointed because we we uh, we expected more from yeah. a private school that yeah. is very expensive. Yeah. Um, it was it was discouraging. Um, so I'll just say one of the things that they talked about was like dating. Mm -hmm. Bella was like her class. Like everybody was talking about I'm dating who this dude. Who? I'm dating that dude. Like, and then at one point, one of the girls was like, oh, you know, like, let's call this boy Joe. Like, you know, hey, Bella, Joe gave you the look. And Bella's like, what's the look? And one of the girls got up and reenacted what um, they, they were trying to, the message they were trying to convey to her. Like, this dude is in TV. And he was like, and Bella's like, whoa. <laughs> um, so there was that. The young man going, oh, I thought, you know, the two girls were talking and Bella happened to walk in and one of the girls made a comment like, oh, I thought Joe, like, cared about size, like, and uh, one of the other girl was like, do you know what that means? And Bella was like, yeah, sure. And she walks off and she's like, no, I didn't want to come across like a homeschooler or whatever. So I just said it, but I... You know, um, I was, as I was walking away, one of the other girls was like, oh, don't worry about her, she's innocent. And so she told me that, like, I was hot, y'all. I was, I was like, mm -hmm. she should be innocent as well. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like you shouldn't, you shouldn't know that. Right. Um, Just the idea that kids are going to shame other kids for not knowing right. these dirty things. Yeah, I think that's what upset me the most was like, you're not going to bully her into feeling like because she doesn't she know certain things like right yeah. and it wasn't like just a one-off comment she that girl made that same comment again um in a, a different conversation which was you know they made a hand gesture and then did this and asked Bella do you know what it was and she felt like no and I don't want to know and she walks off and like oh she's innocent um so like my daughter Bella turned 12 in December so she's she's only young young like <laughs> a um, child I mean, like all I, the rest of those kids I get it when I went <laughs> like this the high school I went to or even the middle school I went to I don't remember it being like this crazy and if it was it's like okay it's a public school with like 4,000 or a private school public school with like 2,000 plus kids, all sorts of background. But this is a Christian environment. Right. So I, it just, Sorry. <laughs> it was just so overwhelming and, and sad. Um, Bella was really sad because yeah. she was looking forward to like meeting some new friends and just having 
long-term friends, but we're gonna just bring the kids in mm -hmm. and let them share with you guys. Exactly. Yeah, they, Ellie's just waking up from Sorry. a nap. <laughs> so I hear her. So we're She'll gonna bring the kids in. Yeah. So anyway, let's, All right. let's, let's okay. dive in. What was your reaction to your first day of school? Um, I liked it and I would probably go back. You would go back. Mm -hmm. What did you like about it? Um, that it was small and the teachers were nice mm -hmm. and there was something to do at like every single hour or something. Like, like there was always something to do. Did you feel weird that you were away from us for eight hours? Okay. He, no. also, he also mentioned that there were animals in the classroom. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah there were. <laughs> Miss Bella, how about you? What was your reaction to your first day of school? I did not like it. Um, some of the things that the kids were saying kind of freaked me out or whatever. It made me feel uncomfortable. I wasn't scared. It just made me feel I don't understand why we can't talk about something else. Okay. So yeah. did you, was there someone you gravitated towards or like things you saw that you did enjoy? Was no, there anything you liked? Not really. I already kind of felt out of place because I'm homeschooled. Mm -hmm. But so then that added to it and made me just feel like, uh -uh. <laughs> Okay. Well, Javen. Mm -hmm. What's your response to what you have seen as in your class? Would you go to that school or wouldn't you go? I would definitely go. You would definitely go. <laughs> yeah. You also know quite a bit of people that oh, go yeah, there. Yeah, I know like seven people there. Yeah. yeah. I think it's more than that. That's helpful. And then he, you have choir or some of them, right? Oh and yeah, a lot. Soccer. Mm -hmm. One of them Let's is going soccer. to be coming into my choir. Room. Okay. Ooh. So he has kids he knows that he he goes he has choir with. And then he plays sports with soccer. Uh, how about you, Miss Bella? Your response to what you know, what you encounter, would you go to that school? I mean, I wouldn't like it, but I don't know. It's 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 bearable. It's just annoying. Yeah. Yeah. You felt like you couldn't make any friends. Yeah, cause like I felt like I was the only like the only different one. And so, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, there was no one I could really relate to. I didn't talk to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I was just kind of like, I'm all by myself here. So, Javen, what was one shocking thing that you saw that were, that were like, whoa? Like, like bad or good? Either one. Share both if you have both. Um, a boy acting like a girl. Yeah. Oh boy. So that was okay. So the thing was, I didn't know if it was just more like goth. Mom, mom said it could have been goth. Gothic. 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 Yeah. He was dressed gothic. I don't know. I say trust your senses. Yeah. <laughs> trust your <laughs> trust your instinct. So yeah, there was that that shocked you. You're not used to that. Yeah. 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 Miss Bella, what was? Oh, one? the other thing that shocked oh, me I'm was sorry. that they let you sit on the floor oh, yeah. while they're telling a story, teaching you, hmm. and like it's it's just. The classroom is really small. They have animals in there, so it's like more of a relaxed environment, like not what you were expecting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not a zoo. Not a zoo. You're goofy. Oh, okay. All right, Bella. I, what I, shocked you? That too. I experienced the same thing. Like there are like bean bags in a classroom. I expected desks. Yeah. Like, huh. Bean bags and pillows. Yeah. Um, and then the, some of the things the kids were saying kind of shocked me. Like, whoa. What was the most this? shocking to you? Do you want to share with them? Um, so it's kind of like at that sixth grade stage where people start liking other people, but they were intensifying it and calling it dating mm -hmm. and like saying some weird stuff about who likes who and why he likes her or whatever. Um, it's not just some of the, like the words they were using, the terminology and other things just kind of made me feel awkward. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so yeah, we had to... We had a conversation, a long conversation with our kids. I feel like half of the day was gone, just us talking yeah. about this, you know, the situation and what we could do better. Yeah. Um, but so yeah, that is our school update. We are visiting other schools, um, other <laughs> somebody still working. Up. Other Christian schools, and you know, possibly, you know, public school. The schools around here are very like small in size. It's not mm -hmm. like where I went to school, right. like really huge. They're right. small. Yeah. Um, so we're going to give you guys another update later, but that is the update for today. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to go with them or stay? Thank you. You want to stay with me? 
I guess Ellie's gonna stay. Okay. Thank you guys. Parents, we had a hard job. Children, they also have like a hard, like a difficult part to play as well. Because as Christian parents, you want your children to be, you know, a light to the world. Uh, or even better examples to their Christian peers as well. Um, it made it really hard. I wanted to talk to some parents and uh, it was a friend of mine that I wanted to talk to but I felt like I just couldn't say what I needed to say because like one of their child was involved. Yeah. I don't want my child to be labeled as goody child. Um, I feel like as Christian, even as parents, we've walked down that road where people deem us goody two shoes and so then you feel like you have to be different to 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 kind of fit in i don't want my 12 year old or my 11 year old to have to walk walk that as an adult um it's a little different because i've come to terms with this is my uh, these are my convictions this is how i do life if it agitates a person we don't have to be best friends like i i don't have to you know come to your house you don't have to come to mine it's it's hard when you see christians like belittling or teasing one another in in ways that they themselves should walk like it's just kind of it's discouraging mm -hmm. and disheartening so we will keep talking to our kids yeah that's all we can do we will be talking to other parents as well to figure out how they're handling things in that specific school because at the end of the day guys i do feel more comfortable with them going to that particular school because it is very small yeah yeah um There's as far as safety more, more accountability that way mm -hmm. it's if you guys haven't already seen where the kids had their first day at school go check it out mm -hmm. and keep, keep looking, looking up, up.